good morning and welcome back to another video. My name's Simon and in this video we're looking at the thistle as a wild edible. Now thistles are a very unforgiving plant. They are the bane of every picnicker and camper. Uh, if you've ever tread, trodden on one you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. They're covered in spines, um, very sharp spines, very brittle sharp spines. So what happens is when you tread on them and they puncture your skin, often the, the spines snap off in your skin and they're a real pain to get out. Um, so we need, to, we need to be very careful when processing them. Um, so I've brought with me uh, a glove, a welding glove, good thick leather glove and a knife which I'll be using to help remove the leaves and things because it's actually the, the stalk of the plant we're after today. You can eat all of the thistle, you can eat the, the flowering head, uh, you can eat the leaves after you've, after you've despined them, you can eat the roots but today I'm particularly interested in the, in the stem or the stalk. So um, we have a lot of variety of thistle in the UK, all of which are edible. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's quite a nice wild food in that you can't really go wrong with it though you can eat all of them um, you just have to be very careful to make sure you've removed all of the spines uh, off the off the stem off whichever part you're eating make sure there's no no spines left because obviously swallowing those could do could do some damage to your insides um, so just take some time to process them now the easiest way to process it is to actually leave it standing don't try and cut it off at the base at the base because you can you can remove a lot of the plant a lot of the spines and things while it's standing and it means that you haven't got to handle it quite so much so starting at the top I'm just going to take my knife and I'm just going to simply cut down and remove remove the leaves first of all Okay, so now the leaves are all off, you need to try and get this outer layer, you're basically going to peel it, the outer layer you want to get rid of. So what you have is a, is a stem, a hollow stem, which you can eat raw just as it is. It's actually got a very nice flavour. I would say it's a cross between celery and asparagus. But it's quite fibrous. Actually, if you peel it a little bit more, the centre is much softer. I think I've got a bit too much of the fibrous outer bit on there. Yeah, that's really nice. So I'm going to pick a couple more. Then we're going to have a go at roasting them. I'm going to light a small fire, let it die down to embers, and I'm just going to stick these straight on the embers and see what they're like roasted. Okay, I've got some embers now. So I'm going to take my stems, which I chopped up, I'm just going to stick them straight in. See how they come out. Okay, well I've got some from the bottom of the stalk and I've got some from closer to the top of the stalk. So we'll, uh, we'll try one of, the, one of the bits from the bottom first. I'm going to just sort of break it open a bit and try the, try the middle. Yeah, that's quite woody. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's quite woody from the bottom. I, I, I expected that though. Let's try from the top. Mm. That's much nicer. So I would say, um, yes, you can cook it, but personally, I think it's nicer raw. And definitely the tops of the stems are softer and tastier than the, the woody bottom of the stalks. <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed this short video. Um, go out and get yourself some, uh, some thistle stems, but eat them raw, they're nicer. So from Maggie and me, take care, and we'll see you on the next one.